Hi, it's Lou Mangello from WDW Radio. And welcome to Walt Disney World. Joining us now, once again, Disney aficionado Lou Mangello, and he's the creator of the award-winning podcast, www.radio.com. So what kind of rides and attractions can people at home, will they be able to see? A lot of things happening already with the building for the Ariel's Undersea Adventure, the Beauty and the Beast restaurant. Things are really starting to come together. Back once again with my best friend in the entire world, Stephen Miller from Disney Theme Park Merchandise. This is the Star Speeder 1000 vehicle playset. This is the toy you're looking for. This is the one. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful, detailed playset. You know, we can say it started with a mouse. No, it started with Walt. <laughs> then it started with a mouse. Well, it, it's, it's evident that you get it sort of in your work. Uh, with deepest pride and great, greatest pleasure that I welcome Disney legend. Give it up for Mr. Jack Lindquist. Before you got your start in Disneyland, before you got your start as an adult, when you were a, a wee little boy, is it true that you were actually a child actor and actually were uh, in the old R Gang series? Uh, yes. I'm looking for the best snack here at the studios. What do you recommend? I am not allowed to eat. It's Aqua Duck, the world's first water coaster at sea. I am getting ready for my very first ride. Come with me. We're here inside the premier theater at Disney's Hollywood Studios, where they honor and respect and showcase the culture and the traditions of the Hawaiian people and marry it with a little bit of Disney magic found throughout the resort. Number two, I'm sure that when fans, especially young girls, come up to you and get a chance to meet you at events like this, it's got to be great because if you close your eyes and listen to you speak, you are a Sokotano. I fell in love with children's programming. I realized the impact that you can have on a child's life by doing something, you know, positive programming for kids. And, and you were a successful lawyer, and then you decided to drop the, the law profession and podcast. And it never sort of was really a conscious decision, like, you know what, I'm going to stop being a lawyer. I'm going to go make money podcasting. Uh, number one, podcasting is not enough. You need to have a blog, you need to have a website, you need to also take your content and repurpose it a lot of different ways. He's our Disney expert, the creator and host of WDWRadio.com. He's also an author, Lou Mangiello. And this one I love because it has to do with leap year. <laughs> uh, and it's all about this one more Disney day, taking advantage of the fact that 2012 is a leap year. There are going to give you one more Disney day. We're BFFs now. Yeah. Me and Jack are BFFs. I'm taller. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See ya.